Five tips, landing boosters. Number one, pause some fuel. In practice, I have found it easiest to design reusable rockets by including a paused fuel tank. Right click on a fuel tank and click the little green triangle by the oxidizer and fuel. This will ensure that we have fuel left to land. Just don't forget to unpause it for your boost back burn. This is also handy if you're using a tool like Kerbal Engineer and you're calculating your rocket's delta V, as paused fuel is not counted. Number two, messy separation. As of Kerbal Space Program 1.4, two craft can't be controlled simultaneously. So I prefer to quick save right after separation so I can land my booster, quick load and then fly to orbit. While there are mods for landing, I typically play sandbox. So proving the craft works and then playing pretend, that works just fine for me. Number three, boost back burn. After separation, press the M key to switch to map view and then click the little icon to bring up the nav ball. Accelerate towards your retrograde indicator until it changes to prograde. Remember that the planet rotates, so continue accelerating until your trajectory is just off the coast. Each design will perform somewhat differently, so after a few test landings, you should have a pretty good idea where you'll end up. Number four, stay in control. Use Werner engines instead of RCS thrusters. They have more powerful thrust, and that way you don't have to haul a second kind of fuel along. Air brakes are also handy for orienting your spacecraft, kind of like throwing a dart. Hit the brakes icon at the top of the screen to deploy them. You may also want to include a large SAS module and some batteries. Number five, use aircraft landing gear for large legs. Unfortunately, the landing legs in the ground tab are just not very long. The largest aircraft landing gear are fantastic, however. Just don't forget to click on the brakes icon prior to landing so your wheels don't slip you up. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for five tips landing aircraft.